Okay, we're doing a shooting test with the uh, seagull. <laughs> the seagull, a seagull. A uh, a hybrid of a uh, seagull and a harrier. It's a it's a hairy seagull, a hairy seagull. Next we got the uh, the war saint. I just dropped the barrel. I it fell. Okay, it fell on an angle, and I don't know if it's bent or not. We're gonna find out right now. So. Big sad. Uh, it might, it could be bent. I don't know. But here's the uh, the war saint, as usual. And finally, we got the uh, base. It's almost complete. One of the orings orings broke off, so I have to re uh, replace that later. Uh, it's doing well with the steel with just one oring. Uh, there's no air leak, and I'm gonna. Upgrade the uh, spring. Uh, in my logic, if you upgrade the spring, that means more air is being pushed out as at a faster rate, meaning more air is escaping at a faster rate. They want more air wants to escape at a faster rate, so uh, we're gonna have to improve all the seal in all the parts and then do some tests. So that's it. that's that's my logic. If you're getting a better spring, upgrade, upgrading the spring to like 500 FPS from like 300, you gotta improve the seal. Like no, sh like air wants to escape everywhere because you're you find that dart very fast. Okay, you get the point. I, if you do get the point, okay. But uh, first test is with the seagull. It is hitting like 230 FPS, 220, 230 with an upgraded spring, a spacer, and I think the second uh, longest barrel in the set. Uh, very accurate, it's very accurate. I just dropped the mag. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a Harrier. It is hitting about 230 to 260. It's a little bit inconsistent, but uh, I used some weird parts to it. Okay. Uh, I'm using, I think, a three, the 310 millimeter, uh, a 310 millimeter barrel. And the prime is uh, easier than the seagull. Shit. Okay, right here. I custom cut it, okay? So, very nice. Do the full round steps. Hit. Hit. Well, it basically hit it. It's just right above it, so it hit. Hit. And I just dry fired it, and the gun just broke. But very accurate blaster. Let me just test out the seagull, get the seagull again because that those iron sights suck on the seagull. They're from the tree on, by the way. Just test four rounds. I dropped one. Hit. 
it. Basically a hit, but still an accurate blaster hitting about 225 FPS, I guess. Uh, next up we have a, the War Saint. I don't know how much is hitting. It is hitting. I haven't chronographed it, but those two I have done over there for. But it is hitting hard. I'm just maybe. Let's say it could be through. It could be 300 FPS. It could be 400 FPS. It could be 500 FPS. Uh, let's let's test it out. It, it's definitely more than 300 FPS, but we don't know. It could be, but I don't know. It is hitting hard. Very hard. <clears throat> It is using the iron sights from a uh, the uh, the uh, dictator, the X shot, long shot, and the uh, striker uh, iron sight, front iron sight. That is kind of cut down. I will kind of explain it later. I'm I'm gonna explain it right now. So uh, X shot, long shot. Uh, iron sight at the back with the one with the hole in it little things so I and uh, the uh, dictator uh, iron sight with the dot this is to get a little bit of a short angle for closer targets maybe like uh, fit 60 to 0 feet away from you about 60 feet away from you 50 uh, so basic so basically this uh, this these two are for 10 feet away, 20 feet away, 30 feet away, 40 feet away, 50 feet away, 60 feet away. I think I, I have tried 70 feet away and that worked pretty fine, but a little bit of an angle, so I have to push it back. I, I think, I, I don't remember. But then this is for maybe like 80 feet ranges because now the angle is getting very steeper because I cut this more down. Uh, so we're looking at back basically a hundred feet of range right there sighted in So it puts it at a pretty long degree uh, uh, Maybe like 30 do 30 degrees up it's Nine degrees Okay, okay, we're say, we're thinking about like maybe 15 do 15 degrees pointed up Ah, ah, ah who cares? Anyways, uh, it's loaded up. Let's try it. So the uh, these two sets first for the angle, different angles and ranges. Jesus, it was. Fuck. Let me just, just like put this target back on. So you know, I dropped the barrel on brick, so it, the test may vary. I mean, accuracy may vary. Okay, hit. Let me just point that up a little. Rounds, two rounds left, and it fell. Fuck. Oh my god, bro. I don't even feel like it. Let me just shoot it on the ground. Okay. Hit. Stock is too long. Stock is too long. I, I had to stretch that thing out. So if you think these, if you if you think iron sights are crappy, and you want to get scope, scopes, we think your decision. It may be because you have crappy iron sights, and yeah, I mean these work best for me because like they are they they work very well because they're very good iron sights for this blaster. Uh, for like but for the base, like I'm using a, a scope for that because it's way it's hitting way harder than the uh. The worst thing, so I want 
perfection out of this thing. Uh, but this is, I want to keep this as light as possible. So it's basically, it's basically my light sniper to run around with. Well, this light, uh, regular sniper and heavy sniper. I don't know, anti-material anti rifle and regular gun. I don't know. Okay, next up is the, uh, the base, the base. Now, like the uh, the last video or whatever video that was, uh, the, it's the the accuracy is depending on the scar, the scope, and that's really it. Uh, the this beacon is not really optimized for this this high of FPS, and the uh, scope uh, it's not really sighted in that well. But I'm gonna try my best. Okay, thank you. And it's it's a fucking heavy blaster. I put some weight into it. On uh, I put like, I, so I had a uh, metal foil. I uh, like kind of like folded it up to make like weights, and I put it in this blaster because I don't want my blaster to be front heavy like this and be fucking very he heavy front heavy. So I put some uh, the of the weights in the center and some in right here to sort of balance it and. It feels much better. It's still a little front heavy, but it's not that of a big deal when you have a fucking large bill. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm gonna load it up. Mm -hmm. Note that if this bill fucking breaks or bends, I'm I'm screwed. But this is the risk of having a longer bill. And that's gonna take like an hour of my time replacing it. So I'm gonna put some protection on it. Maybe some duct tape or something, but I'm not going to make it like too ugly. Actually, I don't really care that much. I'm going to put some duct tape on it. Uh, over, over, around the barrel or over the barrel to just like protect it from scratches or maybe be uh, bents. Or, or dents, I mean. I mean because like, duct tape has a, a little bit of compression into it. Uh, it compresses a little bit. It's not not as much like uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you get the point, right? It's just protection. <clears throat> I over exaggerated the uh, prime. Okay. This thing is not fucking sighted in, but it hit like top of, top right of it. Hit. I had to aim like the bottom left of it, so. Ah, uh, not that sighted in very well. It could be the B call, I'm not saying, I'm, it's not. I'm, I'm not gonna put all the blame on the scope, but it could be the B card. It could be the B card. It's, I still hit it, but like, that was way to the right of it. I did not feel that organ like fucking sit in. I think I broke it. Shit. Hold on. Yep, I broke the organ. Shit. Yep, it broke. Shit, though. I gotta sand this thing down, man. It's, it, it just happened twice. Now the fucking O-ring is in the uh, plunger tube. Ah, shit. Ugh. 
I almost tripped. Uh, I was gonna like fix this blaster anyway, so that's fine. Uh, this thing is still fairly accurate. Uh, it has some problems that I'm gonna fix, but very good blaster. Uh, a little bit heavy, but it's a fucking heavy sniper rifle. Like, what the fuck do you want out of it? Uh, thank you for watching the uh, video. Uh, uh, bye.